okay, it was a big swan boat, and that the you know families would sit on it, pay a fee, and get a ride all around the lake. The big swan, they were gigantic. And it would house maybe about 20 people on it. A whole bunch of people would get on it and um, they would, it was motorized and you would go all around. The first ever baby parade was held at Asbury Park in 1890. By 1909, it had become a yearly event, attracting 100,000 people. Children, toddlers, and baby costumes ranged from Little Bo Peep to Red Riding Hood and Pinocchio. The resort was flourishing well into the 20th century. On April 15, 1917, four blocks of Asbury Park went up in flames. Fifty buildings, including hotels, boarding houses, and residences, along with part of the boardwalk, and an indoor swimming pool were all destroyed. A building boom in Asbury Park would follow this devastating tragedy, highlighted by a renaissance in seaside architecture. In 1925, the dazzling new Berkeley Carteret Hotel was completed. Construction began on the casino building and convention hall in 1929. By 1930, the Paramount Theater had opened, with Hollywood stars like Ginger Rogers, Carol Lombard, and the Marx Brothers attending its grand opening. Jazz and blues clubs were opening on Asbury Park's west side, hosting top entertainers like Billie Holiday, Lionel Hampton, and Dizzy Gillespie. It was a golden age for Asbury Park. Music and performing arts were making it one of the top cultural destinations in the country. Bands played at the various pavilions, while dashing gentlemen accompanied fashionably dressed ladies in white gloves and parasols on their summer afternoon stroll down the boardwalk. An evening's entertainment may include a movie, concert, or theater event. By the mid-1930s, Asbury Park was featuring the Mayfair Theater and Palace Amusements. Elegant pavilions lined the beach. A swan boat, as well as paddle boats, graced the waters of Wesley Lake. Several fresh and saltwater swimming pools both indoor and outdoor, were available for visitors. Asbury Park was reaching its peak of popularity. On September 8, 1934, while sailing from New York to Havana, fire broke out and engulfed the ocean liner SS Moreau Castle. As the ship continued to burn, drifting closer to shore, it grounded on a sandbar just off the coast of Asbury Park's Convention Hall. Many of the crew had escaped in lifeboats, 
leaving panicked passengers to die aboard ship or flounder in the dark waters. Most of the rescue efforts were slow and feeble. Soon, bodies were washing up on the nearby beaches. Of the 539 on board, 137 were lost. The blistered wreck became a major tourist attraction for Asbury Park until its charred hull was towed away for scrap. Suspicion and mystery has continued to surround the fate of the SS Morrow Castle.